Hi. Most of the optical instruments like telescope, microscope, camera, eyeglasses have one or more than one lens. The lens is an optical system that gives for an object a similar reproduction of the same shape called image. In this chapter, you are going to study the characteristics of these lenses and learn about some of their applications. The objectives of this chapter are define a thin lens, distinguish between a converging lens and a diverging lens, identify the elements of a lens, construct the path of some particular rays traversing a lens. 1. What is a thin lens? By definition, a thin lens is a transparent and homogeneous medium of small thickness, limited by two surfaces, called the faces of the lens. One of these faces, at least, is spherical, while the other face is spherical or plane. Pay attention. Take two figures, one and two. The first figure represents thin lenses, the other not. Why? In the second figure, they don't have at least one spherical face. Two, nature and symbols of lenses. There are two types of lenses. One, converging lens. Two, diverging lens. Shape and symbols. Converging lens and its symbol. Diverging lens and its symbol. What are the differences between converging and diverging lens? Converging lens shape thin at the edges, while diverging lens thin at the middle. Symbol converging lens, while the symbol of diverging lens. Three reading of text. The converging lens gives a bigger image for an object. Diverging lens gives a smaller image for an option. We complete the differences between converging and diverging lens. Path of light. In the converging lens, the emergent rays converge at one point. So the lens converge the rays. While in the diverging lens, the emergent rays diverge from the lens and seem to be issued from one point. So the diverging lens diverge the rays. The emergent ray get nearer from the optical axis. Why the diverging lens deviates away from the optical axis. Finally, Position of F and F prime. F is the object focus. F prime is the image focus. F prime and the source of light are in opposite sides. While in the diverging lens, the source of light and F prime are in the same side. The elements of a lens. One, optical axis. It is the symmetrical axis of a lens. It is the principal optical axis. 2. Optical center O. It is the meeting point between the principal optical axis and the lens. Any incident ray passing through the optical center O emerges from the lens without any deviation. It is the converging lens or diverging lens. We continue with the elements of a lens. 3. Image focus F prime. Any incident ray parallel 
to the optical axis of a converging lens emerges from the lens passing through a specific point which is called the image fox f prime in a cylindrical beam of light parallel incident rays all the corresponding emergent rays pass through f prime we noted that in a converging lens the source of light or the incident rays and the image fox f prime are in opposite sides for the object fox f any ray passing through the object fox f emerges from the lens parallel to the optical axis note f and f prime are symmetrical with respect to the optical center o that means of equal of prime the focal length f of a converging or diverging lens by definition it is the distance between the optical center of the lens o and its image fox f prime so f equal o f prime in a converging lens the focal length f is positive in a diverging lens the focal length f is negative according to the figure in a converging lens the luminous incident rays and the image fox f prime are in opposite sides but in a diverging lens the luminous incident rays and the image fox f prime are in the same side how can we determine the focal length f of a converging lens we can determine the focal length f of a converging lens by using the image of a very far object materials very far object like sun magnifier it's a converging lens screen rule procedure place the converging lens or the magnifier between the sun very far object and the screen we start displacing the magnifier until we obtain a clear image of the object on the screen we measure using the ruler the distance between the magnifier converging lens and the screen this distance represents the focal length f of the used lens what do you conclude the image of a very far object is formed on the image fox f prime so the distance between the lens and the image is equal to the focal distance f so d prime equal f d prime the distance between the lens and the image f it is the focal distance of a lens construct the path of some particular rays in a converging and diverging lens any incident ray passing through the optical center O will continue its path without any deviation. 2. In a converging lens, any incident ray parallel to the optical axis of the lens emerges passing through the image fox f prime. In a diverging lens, any incident ray parallel to the optical axis of the lens emerges and seems to be issued from the image fox f prime in a converging lens the incident ray and f prime are in opposite sides while in a diverging lens the incident ray and f prime are in the same side three in a converging lens any incident ray passing by the object fox f 
emerges from the lens parallel to the optical axis while in a diverging lens any incident ray targeting the object Fox F will emerge from the lens parallel to the optical axis a converging lens the incident ray and the object Fox F in the same side while in a diverging lens the incident ray and F are in opposite sides.